Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts, with a title of a news report. Breaking news. New York Yankee Stadium has collapsed. Now that is the breaking news reported in the middle of a dream by one of my regular viewers, Anthony McDonald. And I'm going to tell his dream in my own words, just catching the highlights so you can get the gist of what happened. It almost sounds prophetic to me because you never know what the shaking is caused by. But this is the dream. And I'm telling it as if I am him. You know how I do. Now, I remember being with my aunt. We were going through Manhattan and we were going to visit my aunt and uncle because they needed to pick up something. It turned out when we got there, they didn't have it. Well, anyway, my uncle came out and he's clowning and playing with me. And my aunt and, 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 and his wife are talking. Well, anyway, we get ready to go. And I felt a foreboding feeling. That was a very nice day. But now I'm feeling this feeling. It's not good. I know it's something not good. It's something just didn't feel right. So we're trying to back out. And it seems like something's blocking us. But even though I knew it was because of someone else's car, honestly, I felt like there was an angel involved in the obstacle. Something was holding us up for a reason. Now... Finally, we're able to pull out and head on our way home. Now, all of a sudden, now my, my aunt's playing music on the car radio, and all of a sudden, my uh, um, excuse me, we're passing between two an old stadium and a new stadium, and I could hear the crowd. I could hear the roar of the crowd. The game was on. So I wind my window down. I'm listening to the roar of the crowd as we're going by. And then all of a sudden, we feel the shaking under the car. And I look out. I look behind me. We hear this noise and see all this dust. The stadium, the New York Yankee Stadium, was collapsing right before my eyes. And then the music on the radio had interrupted had interrupted the broadcast and the music stopped playing and the newscaster came on and he said, uh, breaking news, the New York Yankee Stadium has collapsed. And we could hear the screams. We were still within ear reach. We could hear the screams. Do you hear me? It was just so eerie. And then all of a sudden, it's the, the sky started getting dark. I mean, it started getting dark and it was getting dark very fast. That was freaky and eerie. Then, this is weird. Check this out. I had a vision. I had a vision in the middle of the dream. I dreamt. I had a vision. Bizarre. I dreamt that I was seeing in a vision the Statue of Liberty. Part of it had broken off and fallen into a crowd of people. This dream was weird. Anyway, next thing I know, they're shaking and more shaking and more shaking and the shaking would not stop and the sky was dark and the only thing I knew was that the rapture had not taken place but I felt in my spirit that God wanted me to warn people warn people that time is winding up and they have to get ready please you guys repent anyway the dream is over and that's the end of Anthony's dream. But Anthony wants to warn everyone, you guys, please be ready. Please keep your lamps trimmed and burning. Repent and be saved. Be born again. Accept the Lord Jesus Christ into your heart and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Ask God to rule your life so that when he comes in that great and terrible day, you won't be terrified but glorified. Okay, anyway, that is the end of Anthony's dream.
Now, the first thing I thought of when I read his dream, I wondered if it was an earthquake or a shaking as a result of an attack. It's hard to tell how things are going to wind up. But whatever's happening, you guys, know that God is in control. I don't care how many elitists and how many uh, uh, government heads from all over the world are pooling together to, 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 to get things done. God is ultimately in control. That is who you look for. He is our refuge and our very present help in trouble. God bless you.